me. So wonderful to have you all there. And while Alison was showing the video from our past thematic events, I was almost crying here. Such a wonderful face-to-face -face events. Unfortunately, today we can't be face-to-face, -face, but online. But let's hope to uh, make these days as uh, fruitful and as enjoyable as they were before while meeting uh, uh, personally. We kicked off uh, two and a half years ago in Lapland. There were a few pictures from there. Then we met in June 19 in Argyle, Scotland. There were also a few pics from there and then uh, November 19 in Sweden. And we should have been meeting in Ireland <laughs> during last year and latest this spring, but unfortunately that wasn't possible. So I'm Helena Puhakka-Tarvainen. I'm coming from Joesu, easternmost Finland, a nearby Russian border. I'm the project manager of this project consortium and represent Karelia University of Applied Sciences. I try to click the next slide. Let's see how that goes. Now, so Japan Power is all about empowering women entrepreneurs in sparsely populated communities. We have been aiming for equal growth and increase in the contribution of women to regional economy in these sparsely populated northern and arctic communities, which this northern periphery and arctic program uh, represents and funds. We have partners uh, here from Finland, so we and Business Joesu from the city of Joesu and then uh, University of Lapland University of Applied Sciences there up north. Uh, behind the Arctic Circle. Then we have uh, Strukturum, um, a small uh, company from uh, municipality of Jokmok in northern Sweden. Uh, then we have Highlands and Islands Enterprise uh, from Scotland, as well as Pure Energy Center from Shetland Island. Uh, then we have, of course, West Peak there from uh, Ireland and also uh, Icelandic partner, which used to be Innovation Center Iceland, and nowadays, uh, since this January, uh, Ministry of Innovation in Ireland. Uh, uh, I hope I didn't forget uh, anybody, but then we have great associated partners also from New Brunswick, Canada, uh, Women in Business New Brunswick, as well as uh, College Community in New Brunswick. A secondary, uh, secondary vocational school. So this is our our partnership here. It was already shown in the video that which are the challenges why we are doing this project. Uh, women are less likely than men to be entrepreneurs, more likely to work part time, and more likely to work in the service sector, which affects the earning potential. And also women tend to have challenges in accessing finance, business support, runs a bit too fast today, <laughs> engaging with the role models, networks and mentors. And there are also some cultural assumptions and gender stereotyping behind. So these kind of challenges we have been confronted and tried to find the solutions. And especially during this week, we hope to offer you uh, role models, networks, and men, uh, some peer mentoring uh, that you can uh, boost your business throughout our network. Uh, this picture is from our region, Kali National Park, last winter or previous. The spring looks quite similar now here. Uh, we have uh, like 10 months to go with this project until the end of this year's, year, and we can still offer you information and support, networking possibilities, uh, training and learning. During these project years, we have also had a peer mentoring program 
unfortunately it was a bit cut off uh, due to the travel restrictions the aim was to really match you to meet each other and visit your your companies uh, we have offered coaching and so-called gender sensitive uh, coaching in business we have organized innovation workshops and also a competition or platform for new business ideas the first uh, transboundary and then regional pilot and even though the project is going to end soon, um, there's still a lot to uh, enjoy and a lot of possibilities to network and a lot of possibilities to still benefit of our activities. We have, for example, LinkedIn uh, community existing with more than 140 uh, women entrepreneurs and business advisors there. And we hope that group to be become uh, trustful uh, peer mentoring group in the future. That's where you can uh, um, meet your old friends and meet meet new new friends, ask help, uh, find new business possibilities, find partners for collaboration, and so on. We have participants from each project uh, country there, and uh, almost a daily basis, new new members join the team therein. LinkedIn is a closed group which enables uh, the um, trustfulness there. So we accept each each uh, applicant there. So there's no free access to the group, which keeps it going safe. You can find us from our regional hubs, and we still provide you networking, training, and support. There will be a similar on online networking even taking place still next autumn, organized by Finnish partners. We organize online trainings and regional workshops and events. We publish newsletter and some uh, brochures and publications, and we are active in social media, especially our Facebook site and then the LinkedIn group. And there are links, links for our social media and channels and website. So, Welcome all to this free day networking and training uh, events online and we are excited to see how this platform works and which kind of great bindings you can uh, and learnings you can find during these three days. Welcome. So yeah, good morning everybody and, and very welcome. Um, so thank you Alison for playing. Um, the W Power Project videos, and thank you also, um, Helena, for the overall um, introduction of um, the uh, project. I'm very excited about the week. Uh, indeed, it is a, a great shame that we can't meet in, in person. It, it is a rare opportunity to have female entrepreneurs. Um, from uh, so many different uh, countries uh, uh, coming together and being able to exchange um, and um, connect. And um, hopefully um, by offering this virtual platform to do that, you will all use as many opportunities um, to just do so. And we have left the uh, matchmaking open for over the, the whole uh, duration of the three days and the reason is we all understand everybody is still quite uh, busy and preoccupied with the day to day so there is great flexibility to fit this um, matchmaking and networking around your own schedules so um, you can do it at any time at, at any point uh, between um, uh, this morning and concluding on um, Thursday evening, so I would encourage everybody to use this unique opportunity to connect uh, with entrepreneurs from other countries. So as mentioned, um, we have, um, um, and I'll just bring you a visual here, we have Finland, Sweden, um, Iceland, uh, Scotland, including Shetland Islands, uh, of course, uh, the west of Ireland, and we are quite lucky to also have a partner in Canada 
And as I said, this is a very unique opportunity and I would not uh, let it go to waste. Um, the, for the people who are not familiar with Interreg, I just wanted to bring this map just to kind of visually represent that, you know, we, we, are, we are talking about, you know, uh, the periphery of Europe where there are very unique issues and especially, uh, you know, uh, that I um, think you will appreciate the challenges of doing business in a rural environment where access often to it. infrastructure and resources uh, can be uh, quite limited or difficult. Um, we are, of course, in a different dimension now with COVID and, and, and things have changed. Uh, hopefully, um, some of these things will give the push also in the right direction in terms of a more distributed and what we call a more democratic and equal access to, to, to such resources and, and, and infrastructure. So just a couple of words about WESPIC because um, I know not necessarily everybody um, uh, uh, here today might be familiar with, with our organization here in Ireland. So we are um, a, a big a EU big uh, business innovation center based in the um, uh, west of Ireland. Uh, our original uh, remit was um, to look after the uh, border Midlands and Western region, um, which was an original uh, NATS2 set up here in, in the West of Ireland. And we are a distributed organization with a physical presence in several locations. So um, uh, in, in, in Mayo, Galway, Roscommon and, and uh, Donegal. And we have been looking after startups and SMEs for over 30 years. Um, um, from incubation to acceleration to providing SMEs with um, specific tailored measures around innovation, around specific issues such as digitalization, such as Brexit, um, and uh, now we hope also to support businesses during the you know uh, recovery from COVID, uh, which hopefully will happen this year. Um, we are also part of a wider European network, and this gives us um, access to quite a lot of uh, knowledge, but also contacts across Europe, um, which gives um, opportunities to connect uh, uh, to entrepreneurs, to other structures, and to other uh, support organizations um, in Europe. So about this week, just a few words um, to give you a flavor of what's ahead. Um, so today we, we just wanted to introduce you to the concept of the project. Why are we here? What are we doing? What are we aiming to do? Um, so also as, as part of this welcome session, we have Norin Darcy, uh, who's, um, uh, who, who, who will guide you and give you some tips around how to make most out of this week, how to uh, make most most out of the uh, creating connections, networking, and and and, and matchmaking. And, and thank you, Noreen, for being here today. It's great to have you and your expertise. Um, so this is what we are going to look at this morning. Uh, leading on from this, there will be a workshop on creating emotional connections via branding and digital storytelling, which is a very important topic, uh, especially now in, in this virtual climate where you where you know there's uh, a lot of noise out there and and having you know uh, being able to stand out and, and communicate what it is that you do is, is increasingly important as well. On Wednesday, I'm very excited that we have a great number of um, very dynamic um, females on board of two panels looking at role models and looking at peer-to-peer -peer networks. So female entrepreneur, um, uh, um, and in some cases, employee networks, uh, where we um, have uh, a, a great discussion and insights about, again, the importance of role models, um, importance of peer networks, and also helping uh, us understand um, how, how to make um, most of these, these type of supports and uh, how to engage with them and so on. So really looking forward to that um, on, on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, 
we have another uh, workshop we, which we um, try to aim at a, 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 a pragmatic um, angle of helping um, uh, female entrepreneurs uh, gain uh, another income stream. So training as a product is all about harnessing any type of skill, expertise or knowledge that you might have personally or in your business and uh, commoditize it basically as a, as a product in order to create another income stream. And this is uh, a really undertapped um, area, we believe, um, because everybody has some skills, some knowledge, some expertise, and uh, obviously experience. And uh, this will help you bridge, bridge, um, uh, and make the link uh, between making this knowledge into something tangible that can be monetized. So uh, uh, one uh, workshop not to miss, I'm sure. Um, so um, that is what we are um, looking ahead this week. And as Helena, the other Helena before me mentioned uh, already, we are um, happy to connect with um, any female entrepreneurs out there looking for support or looking even for um, just signposting or wondering, you know, where can I go for X or, uh, and so on. So my personal contact details are here on this slide and uh, the W Power Project um, contact details, which um, Helen already mentioned, and the LinkedIn group, which is also great for peer networking, are all here. And we look um, forward to welcoming you there also. So thank you very much for listening. I'm really looking forward to um, interacting with you all throughout the week. And um, yes, without further ado, then I will um, hand you over to uh, Noreen and uh, uh, really excited to, to hear um, about the tips for today. Thank you. Good morning, uh, everybody. Kate Mila Falte is Misha Noreen Darcy. Um, that's our Gael gift for you're all very welcome, or 100,000 welcomes. Kate Mila Faltia, good W power. Kucht W power. Kucht means power, as Gael Um I, uh, I suppose I, I tag myself as the quintessential Galway girl. Um, some people tag me as the queen of networking. I absolutely love it. And I am quite lost <laughs> this past 12 months being locked down, locked in, locked up um, and, and working from home like so many other people um, and all of us women as well here this morning um, due to the pandemic. But uh, let's uh, not dwell on, 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 on the pandemic or the seriousness. We're here to, to, have, uh, to have a little bit of fun as well as the serious matter of business. And I'm really, really impressed by the project and by what I've heard this morning. And I want to thank Alison uh, McGonagall and I want to thank Mary Ryan and all of the team at Westwick for inviting me to be part of this prestigious um, event. Westwick have been part of my network for close on 30 years, and in particular, uh, 22 years since I became self-employed. They've been very important to me. They've been very loyal to me. They've been very good to me. Uh, and we fostered a very strong relationship uh, with a good um, uh, response back and forth, open to ideas, open to feedback. Um, and they're an excellent organization huge supporter of women in business, but huge supporter of entrepreneurship in, in general. And we're very, very lucky to have them here in Galway. Uh, I'm a country girl, uh, a rural girl, and I grew up in Connemara, be it, uh, um, albeit a half an hour from Galway City, uh, on the shores of Loch Corrib, Ireland's largest lake. Uh, I grew up um, with my dad on a farm, uh, and he worked part time as well because farming in the west of Ireland doesn't generate a huge amount of income. You always need something else. And my mother had a, um, a shop and a post office. So I think uh, my sister often says um, I was working uh, and talking before I was born. So I think my um, ability to network, to talk, 
uh, and to be involved with people has been fostered from a very, very early age because from once I was knee high to a grasshopper, I was behind the counter at home selling penny sweets um, and exchange, exchanging with people. Um, this is a fabulous three days ahead. The challenge is, is that we're all um, on, uh, online. And um, let me just share my, uh, my, my screen here. So um, my, um, we're all here to celebrate uh, W Power, Women Power, and we're all here to network. And uh, the challenge is, is that we're, uh, we're, we're across Zoom and we're across many corners of the world and of Europe. Um, but uh, challenges um, uh, always bring positivity and bring new opportunities. And that's what we're going to create for each other here over the next three days. Uh, this morning we should be, I assume, uh, because this is the return leg of this particular event and particular um, conference, uh, here in a, one of our fabulous hotels in Galway City on the shores of Galway Bay and you should have been on the town last night uh, getting a flavour of the wonderful hospitality of our city uh, when it reopens again post-pandemic and post-lockdown. We have a very uh, famous song in Galway. We have uh, we've many famous songs in Galway, but we have two. One is Galway Bay and the other is Galway Girl. And she was brown haired and blue eyed and I'm brown haired and green eyed. But this morning I'm going to share, uh, for all of you who have heard of, I'm sure of Ed Sheeran uh, and the famous uh, Irish uh, who started his busking career here in the streets of Galway before he became world famous as a singer songwriter. And also Saoirse Ronan, the wonderful Irish uh, actress, and they created a fabulous version of Galway Girl here in Galway uh, a number of years ago and shared and visited uh, wonderful hostelries, O'Connell's and O'Connor's, all of which are unfortunately closed at the moment. But when you do return uh, for a conference here to Galway, this is what you'll experience. And in sharing this this morning, uh, it's to give you, uh, I suppose, put you in the mood of, OK, let's get into conference mode. Let's get into uh, being part of a conference, not just at home uh, or in our offices or working from home and see what we want from the next three days. Let this music uh, get you energized, get you dancing, get you uh, all in a buzz for what will be three wonderful days. But I want you to think as the tune plays, what the um, what your thoughts are on the conference, what you want from this event, and whether it's business, uh, whether it's supports, uh, whether it's uh, creating connections to bring you to the next step, or uh, creating a, a broader a broader circle, and then uh, we'll get into the tactics of what networking is all about. Okay, can we play the video, um, Alison? Let's get back to sharing the screen and to the presentation. We live in a very, uh, here in Galway, Westwick is based in a very lively, uh, young city. Uh, we have a very strong, um, we have a very strong university uh, student uh, population and community. And we have a very, um, a very good GMIT third level college as well. So we have an, uh, on average over 20,000 uh, students uh, in the city ordinarily. Then we have a very strong tourism um, base as well, hospitality sector. And we also have uh, a very strong med tech, IT and business community. Uh, and everybody networks together from college, school, education, um, corporate, uh, SME sector, business, and then our wonderful county as well in terms of um, people traveling into the city for work or vice versa, uh, and also food producers, agri, tourism. Uh, so there's huge networking that goes on uh, and organizations like Westpick facilitate that. But back to today and the next three days that are ahead for each of us. So after that, I hope you're feeling a little bit dizzy and, uh, and giddy and looking forward to get joining us in Galway in person uh, at some stages part of W Power. 
and uh, that we can all meet and have a good night out like that but maybe not spill some guinness uh, or land on the floor with a little bit of a, a, a humpy there uh, but uh, and and to be able to network in person so what i want you all to do this morning now is i want to pop your um, your names your contact details and your preferred social media um, uh, handle into the chat box to introduce yourselves to each other um, because at the end of this three days there's going to be a nice little prize uh, for the delegate who has networked the most via the meetings um, and the opportunities that are created by this, uh, by this conference. So what I want you all to do is introduce yourselves this morning um, my name is Noreen Darcy. Uh, I founded Darcy Marketing and PR 22 years ago. And uh, previous to that, I worked in sales and marketing in hotels and tourism. And I absolutely adored the networking opportunities in person of the different conferences, events, etc., that uh, were all presented to me, be it sales perspectives uh, or traveling abroad or overseas. The business card uh, was our signature. The business card was our um, was our network. Uh, the business card exchange. Now we need to exchange uh, virtually, online, via email, and all our social uh, social online digital networks. Who we are, what we are, and what we want. I want you to think ahead of what's involved for the next three days. Where you are, where you are now with your business where you are in life, in light of the 12 months that we've had with the worldwide pandemic, and especially for rural businesses um, and rural uh, business operators, we can feel that a little bit more isolated. So we need more of a network um, and we need to be part of networks to help our support, even if it's to ask the simple questions of, how are you today? How are you getting on? Or I'm challenged by this, or I'm lonely, or I'm fed up. I haven't spoken to anybody in two or three days. This is what the next three days are about, to create a community and to further our communities. Networking is all about meeting uh, new people. It's also about reacquainting um, with uh, contacts that we already have, um, rebuilding that, regenerating those contacts, or uh, exchanging of information as to what we've learned since the last time we met, if it's, if it's reacquaintances, or what we want to learn. Um, so have your research done for what you want from the next three days in terms of the speakers that you're going to listen to and learn from, but also the bilateral meetings that you want to engage with. Conferences like uh, W Power and networking opportunities are about learning also and exchanging of ideas. And we're all here to learn. And this has been a year of profound learning uh, because we've had to learn uh, how to work from home, uh, how to work in isolation, minus our colleagues and minus live events uh, as to what this would traditionally be. So this is a networking opportunity virtually um, to put all of that into practice and to use the same um, ethos and the same acumen, but again, across digital platforms. The days ahead are about business, essentially, uh, but not altogether about business. They're about creating friendships, forging friendships, forging business acquaintances, uh, uh, forging associates, forging potential investments, and maybe even sources of funds. But it's all about learning and it's all about gaining experience and it's all about gain, um, gaining knowledge and gaining people to help and support and cushion us. Uh, identify who you are, what your business is, um, and be prepared without the business card to have your email and your social signatures ready, your website detail, and all of your um, preferred and uh, social networks already at exchange for all of your bilateral meetings and already for the follow-up uh, as part of all of this networking that's going to take place, which is essential over the next three days while we wait for our world to open up again. So be prepared with your email signatures and with your immediate exchanges for follow-up to each one of the meetings um, and the exchanges. Or if people aren't available to meet you due to time constraints over the next three days, 
that you can arrange follow-up meetings over Easter, uh, Holy Week next week, as we call it in Ireland, or after the Easter holidays, which are, uh, which are upon us. You're building and creating uh, relationships over the next three days, uh, right across Europe, from Finland to Iceland, uh, mainland Europe, Ireland. And part, a lot of us in Ireland, we need to network with each other as well too, whether we're in Donegal, whether we're in Kerry, whether we're um, in Galway, even in Connemara. And it's very important over the next three days that we're visible. And our visibility will be in attendance at uh, our meetings, but also uh, on the digital platforms that are presented to us using the hashtag WPower. So if your preferred network is LinkedIn, if it's Twitter, if it's Instagram, if it's Facebook, make those exchanges and be present and be visible and be part of the uh, W Power community that's uh, evolving over the next three days. And let's get this event trending to show that women right across Europe in rural locations are involved in business and they're networking and learning from each other. Ireland to Finland, Ireland to Iceland, to mainland Europe and all of the other uh, countries. Be memorable in your presentations, whether that's in your imagery, whether it's in your exchanges, whether it's in your uh, presentations and show your personality. I love networking, um, be it in person or be it online. Uh, I like being active on social media. Sometimes I figure out that hours have gone out of my day and I'm going, OK, what did I do to actually earn money? But networking is a very um, easy thing for me. It's not so easy for everybody. Um, so identify uh, what it is that you want and what it is that you want to give. Uh, and if you're the behind the scenes person, but your product and your business is much more to the fore, well then work off those platforms and create it. Present well in terms of having your presentations, having your collateral and having your assets ready for your meetings so that you can immediately exchange uh, information with the people whom you want to meet with and network over the next couple of days. The important thing is to show your presence, show it across LinkedIn, show it across Twitter, show it across Instagram that you are here, that you're open to meet uh, like-minded business women across Europe uh, via this platform from West Vic in the west of Ireland, in Galway City, in the most westerly city um, of Europe. Present, engage but most importantly being here for the next three days um, will get us all back to our daily business it will be important for us to follow up on each one of the meetings we can have a marathon three days engaging in all of the meetings engaging with all of the contacts that we want to make learn from them uh, but we must follow up as part of uh, to get the value and the benefit from what W Power is going to present to us. If we want to learn more for research for our own business, if we want to gain networks for export, uh, the opportunities are here right across Europe via vehicles like Westpac and each one of the businesses that are participating and each one of the women businesses that are participating in the next three days. LinkedIn is hugely important and Westpac have been very active in profiling this event um, in recent weeks. Get, uh, become part of that conversation. Become part of that conversation using the WPower hashtag uh, on Twitter also and on Facebook. The, use the channel that is most preferential to your business, to yourself and to your brand, where you feel most comfortable and as we say, milk it, uh, make the most of it, engage, get involved and make some noise right across these channels. Uh, we have three wonderful days ahead of us to engage in that and create comfort zones and create support networks uh, using the digital platforms as opposed to the traditions of being in person beside each other, checking each other's name badges. And unfortunately, that's not available to us. So now we use the opportunities that the digital, um, the digital world, world, which is highly effective, presents to us. The networks, uh, Westpac have brought this together uh, with their European partners. And we've heard the exchanges this morning of what have happened previous to today. 
How can we build from that? How can we gain more information? Ask yourself those questions and engage with the representatives that are here from Westwick over the next three days, along with each of the businesses and delegates that are participating. Email, create appointments, make those meetings. If they're not available over these three days, make them for when the windows in your calendar or their calendars are available. Follow up by email, follow up by engagement on social media. Learn about the other networks that are available here in Galway. Um, and we want to learn about your networks that are available in your country also to create opportunities for exchange of information, exchange of learning, how you're coping with the pandemic, how you're coping with business, how you're coping with life, and whether there are opportunities in terms of exports. Our Chamber of Commerce is heavily involved in, in EU uh, participation, EU information events, and supporting its business to create networks across Europe and across the world. How can we support you and how can you, with your Chamber of Commerce, support us? Other excellent uh, network uh, organisations uh, that have been available to me over the past 30 years have been Network Ireland, Network Galway. Again, like-minded businesswomen who are networking, hosting events and using those platforms. And are there opportunities uh, for you, uh, regardless of what country you're in this morning and over the next three days, to maybe create opportunities with the networks that we have here in Galway, whether you might like to be a guest speaker at our events, share your experiences and your, your businesses uh, and your business experience, and that we can do the same, which again are forging further links outside of our, outside of our comfort zones here in Ireland. And the same applies to BPW as well. Again, all of which have international links. And can we bring these into our networking over the next couple of days? I know uh, members of Network Galway will be participating, members of Galway Chamber of Commerce are participating, and also members of, of, of different networks from around the country. And again, how can we learn from each one? How can we engage with them? And how can we engage after this event when we probably have more time to create sales and create, uh, create pitches? So again, it's being present and um, it's uh, finding out what networks we're each involved in and establishing if they can create opportunities for us and then learning from that and then engaging and opening conversation across digital platforms uh, over the next couple of days. We, um, in, in, in terms of um, the, the actual uh, offering, you have your email signature as your business card. Each of the meetings that you engage in over the next three days, follow up with a thank you. Follow up with the discussion and what the key actions are from each one of those, uh, from each one of those meetings. Share your meeting across the uh, social networks, again with the hashtag WPower. Uh, again, to create the opportunities where um, additional uh, people in the same sphere and the same business opportunities may see and experience these exchanges um, of communications online and want to become part of your conversation and part of your network or part of your business solution or part of your support for your business, be it for research or be it for sales. So again, it's all about conversations and it's all about following up. Sharing the information and the experiences of the next three days in each of the meetings across, um, across the platforms on each of the social media and summing up your days, what you've learned, who you've met, following them up on a daily basis uh, from now until Thursday uh, and sharing your highlights of what you've learned uh, across um, your social networks uh, will be very important as part of the networking that's going to ensue. Again, uh, participating in the keynote speakers, uh, the panel speakers, uh, following up and gaining from Westwick insights into uh, further knowledge on each one of these brands and how they can help you uh, and how we can help each other. Again, formulating more of a network. Again, uh, it, this is all building up to when we can all meet in person, when we can all engage in person. But in the interim, we're all developing and we're all engaging as we go forward. So the important things are to have your uh, social media active, 
your preferred channels active, have your email signatures up to date with all of your contacts, using that as your business um, as your business card, following up on each one of your meetings to forge those networks, and engaging with each uh, of the meetings. What networks are they involved in, and how can they support you? Or maybe how can they support uh, other exchanges of business ideas across communities? Um, because this is not just about individuals, it's also about regions. It's also about rural entrepreneurship across Europe and the importance of it, as well as empowering women to continue and strive for better business, better business practice, and to have a greater voice um, as we work um, day to day in our own communities, in our own business, and also in our regions, and the benefits that we're bringing to the economies um, of rural communities across, across Europe. It's an important occasion, and it's important that uh, communication amongst all of us uh, continues, especially for the foreseeable with the pandemic, and we working more on our own and, uh, and in isolation. As we know, certain countries are, are forging further to come out of uh, lockdown. We have another number of weeks, possibly months to go. So all of these networks and learning from your experiences in other parts of Europe as to how you've supported each other are important for us too here in the West of Ireland. And this uh, next three days, as well as about business and business learning, is also about friendships and forging friendships uh, and forging um, exchanges as we go forward. So um, what I'm going to suggest is that you all network, obviously. Uh, you all gain from each other's insights and each other's uh, knowledge. You all exchange information, exchange inf uh, information on your business, but also your own personal experiences and your personal stories and how these can be shared uh, and maybe engaged or, 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 or tweened as well too with our respective uh, businesses. Uh, and the greater our network, the bigger our network, the broader our network, the more support we have for each other and the more we will learn from each other and especially at this time of a pandemic. So uh, we have uh, here, um, those of us that are Irish speakers, we have a number um, of, of different sayings and proverb, proverbs. But one of them is, er a echela a warren nidini. And it's a very important one. Um, and it's very important uh, from rural uh, Irish speaking communities. We survive in each other's shadows. For the next three days, albeit virtually, digitally, from all corners of Europe, we are working in each other's shadows uh, to strengthen our networks as business women, rurally based across Europe. And uh, this t-shirt is made in Spiddle on the Wild Atlantic Way. They also make wonderful face masks for the time we're living in. Ismisha Mehain Keitosa. And these are questions that we can ask ourselves. And that means, uh, this is me, who are you? So in your introductions at your meetings, okay, here I am, this is me, who are you? And at the end of the day, I want you each in your virtual uh, conference hub, wherever you are in Europe, to toast yourself with a little slauncha, which means cheers because that's what we would be doing if we were all together in a beautiful hotel here in Galway City. We would be having a conference dinner, a conference network drinks after to exchange more information. Because as we all know in business, quite often more business is done over the glass of wine, the gin and tonic, or the Guinness, uh, uh, especially if, if, if our meetings have been, and our schedule has been indulged that there's people we wanted to meet, we couldn't get to meet, so we catch up with them in the bar. So maybe this evening over our social networks of LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, we can share that over a little slauncha. And I have a little prize uh, and a little competition to uh, instill a networking culture in you all over the next three days. There will be a little pack for the delegate who has, uh, who has networked the most via Westwick and W Power over the next three days to include a lovely t-shirt made here in Connemara, some face masks to keep you safe uh, in your local environment, 
and also a pair of beautiful um, gold earrings, which are handcrafted here in Connemara. Uh, we're all ladies. We like a little bit of uh, glamour and um, whether it's, it's wearing it at home as we're in lockdown or keeping it as a gift for our next event. So this is a little gift uh, from us to you uh, from Galway uh, for the best networker over the next three days. Get your business card virtually, digitally, up to date, online, uh, book your meetings, follow up your meetings, uh, and increase your network via W Power over the next uh, three days. I wish you all every success, uh, and I'm very much looking uh, forward to being part uh, of the, the conference and to learning from the events. And I've booked a number of meetings as well too for myself, and, and I have more to book as well because I'm, I've always inter been interested in going to Scandinavia. I've never gotten there, even though I have a cousin from Donegal living in Sweden and it's something I must do. So it's on my wish list uh, when we travel again. Thank you for your time uh, and I wish you every success. The importance is forging uh, more contacts uh, for ourselves, both professionally and personally to help us grow, uh, but also to generate business uh, contacts and to make new friends. And the important thing will be to be present, be heard, be visible and follow up uh, on W Power over the next three days. Thank you. Gurmeel Mila Mahagi Arfal. Thank you so much, Noreen. That, that was excellent. And um, uh, it was great to be able to share a little bit of the local flavor also in, in, in the video format and music format uh, with, with um, all the uh, wonderful uh, people that were unfortunately not able to join us uh, physically. Uh, as we uh, next time is for sure. Um, brilliant. Uh, 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 thank you so much. And um, uh, I uh, join Noreen in the invitation to everybody to, you know, uh, really utilize and uh, exploit uh, the next three days to, to the maximum, because as I said, it, it's a very unique gathering. It's a very unique opportunity to be able to um, reach out uh, um, to um, uh, entrepreneurs and uh, um, other types of uh, stakeholders via this uh, forum. So I encourage you to make most of it. So um, to conclude then the introductory and welcome session, thank you for joining us. Uh, the next uh, item is the um, workshop on uh, personal uh, branding, digital storytelling and communication, starting in half an hour. So there's plenty of time to grab a coffee, <laughs> grab a cup of tea. Uh, um, have a little break in between and check your emails and so on and get onto the matchmaking platform and see who you can connect with. So it's exciting to um, have an um, uh, award as well as, as an additional enticement. So uh, again, I encourage everybody to um, make most of it and you know, uh, often as they say, the more you put in, the more you get out. Mm -hmm. So um, the effort will be well uh, worthwhile and, and well spent. Uh, um, and you never know where these new connections may lead to, what types of collaborations, what types of future business or, you know. So um, thank you everybody. And uh, we are all here throughout the week to connect, to talk to you, to advise and signpost or whatever else to listen more of a, a more than anything so feel free to connect um thanks very much and um see you later um i don't know alison if you want to add anything no that's everything on my side i just want to say a big thanks to noreen um that was absolutely brilliant so we'll see you all over sure. at the next workshop thank you everybody we'll see you later <laughs>